Good morning folks and welcome to the channel and happy Easter Sunday. Don't worry, I went to church last night. It is 31 degrees out. There's frost on the bow of my kayak. But we're about to put in the water and today I wanted to do a super simple video while I'm fishing in a tournament just to explain a couple things about kayak bass fishing. First off, there's an entire community of people that obsessively fish out of kayaks to catch bass, large mouth, small mouth spots, and they do it competitively to fish in tournaments. It is absolutely amazing. Incredible organizations exist all across the country. The tournament that I'm fishing in today is held by Kayak Fishing Northwest, and I've been a part of them now for going on three years, and I'm a huge fan. We're out here in the Pacific Northwest, and today we're gonna try to catch some largemouth, some really cold largemouth. So I wanted to first off explain this right here. This is called a catch board, and you'll see on the catch board that it's got inch measurements on it, and it has a little identifier on it. Hope you guys can see that. That's how we fish these tournaments. So typical bass tournaments are based on weight. Well, in a kayak, you really don't have space to, you know, put five, five pound largemouth without losing some serious headway. So all of our tournaments are catch photo release. So you catch the bass, you lay it on the board, take a picture of it and then you submit it to an app and judges judge the pictures to make sure they're legal. You have to have your location on on your phone to make sure you're fishing in a legal area, a public fishing water. And then our tournaments are based on inches instead of pounds. So a really good day on the water, you know, would be like 95 inches, which would be anywhere from a 20 to a 30 pound bag, right? So today I'm fishing in a month long tournament, right? You can pick any body of water you want in your local state, but it has to be public. The tournament runs an entire month from April 1st to April 30th. And you can submit fish the entire month. And the app that I'm talking about, Tourney X, culls the fish. So it gets rid of your smallest one and puts in the next biggest one um, as you fish the tournament. So. All right guys, so I did this before I've even gotten on the water yet, so I'm really hoping to catch some fish today so we can use this video and I can teach you guys about kayak bass fishing. Thank you for joining the channel. Please hit like and subscribe if you get a chance. Thanks, see you on the water. Howdy folks, Chase Ardeen here with Chase Ardeen Fishing. folks I'm all bundled up now pretty chilly out here <sighs> you're on the water look at that view oh, it's gorgeous you know aside from spending time with my family going to church this is one of my most favorite things to do, hands down. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. I really appreciate it. So, today we're gonna be fishing a jerk bait. This right here is the Jackal Rearrange 110. A jerk bait is a plug or a crankbait style bait. And uh, it's really good for colder water conditions and presentations. Uh, it's a really good early spring bait. And right now, being way tucked up in the corner of the Pacific Northwest, uh, we're still a long ways from the spawn. So now down south, those bass have already spawned. But we're gonna be fishing with this. We're going to our first spot. I don't really know this lake too well. I did a little map research. It's a small lake, less than, less than 100 acres, but that's kind of the whole idea behind the tournament we're fishing today, which is called, or the, for the month, which is called the Pond Hopper Challenge. So you can fish 
any lake in less than 200 acres that's public access uh, in your home state. So it's called the Pond Hopper Challenge. Uh, pretty neat. But stay tuned. Hopefully we can get one on the hook. GoPro stop. Snap, snap. Pause. 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 Snap, snap. Pause. 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 Snap, snap. Snap. Snap, snap. Snap. Snap, snap. There's a fish. There you go, folks. So, we caught a bass. Now, what do we do with it? First, we got to get her unhooked. And what I like to do, this is a largemouth bass, by the way. What I like to do is, because it's got a lot of stuff going on in a kayak. So I'll deal with the net and that lure in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna clear out of this fishing spot, right? I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. And I got a tool for that. It's this right here. It's uh, called a donkey leash. And basically, what you do is you open those up, clamp her down, close it. Boom. And while I get ready to take my picture, that fish is gonna be alive and well and happy. So, now I'm gonna get my phone out and I'm gonna get the camera ready so it's ready to go. I'm gonna set it down. Now I'm gonna get my board ready. And there's a few different ways to do this. Sometimes I'll put the board uh, down in my well. That way, uh, if I'm worried about losing the fish and it's being really ornery, it's got some wiggle room. This guy's pretty small, so we're gonna just put him up on the lap. So I've got everything prepared, right? Got my catch board, got my identifier code for this tournament. I'm gonna put this on my lap. Got my camera ready to go. I'm gonna grab Mr. Fish back out of the water. He is happy. He is alive. There he is. Gonna release the clamp. I try to. There we go. And I'm gonna put him on the board. Just like this. Mouth has to be closed. He has to be pushed up against the rail. You can have one hand on him, but you can't cover up the uh, gill plate. Go like this, and you snap your pitcher, and you snap another one, and you move them around a little bit, and you snap a third one, and a fourth one, and a fifth one. <laughs> you can never have too many pitchers because you just don't know. Uh, then we're gonna grab them for a second. We're gonna look at the last picture, see that the mouth is closed, see that we can see all of our identifiers and tags. We're gonna say goodbye to the little largemouth bass and throw them back and then we get into the app and we submit our fish that one was 12 and a half inches and that's it folks remember a tournament is depends on the, the format of the tournament but traditionally it is five fish and it is your longest fish it's based on length not on weight welcome to kayak bass fishing Howdy folks, Chase Ardeen here with Chase Ardeen Fishing.